let's continue to give information about our operator panel. I want to remind you of a few subjects uh, before executing our panel, or rather we have written the program with the panel. Uh, I mean before loading this program into the panel, our panel has to be at transferred position. If our panel is not at the transfer position, you can't inject the data inside. But generally, with all panels which have C++ OS, uh, when you open the panel, it allows all data transfer automatically. In order to send the changes, you need to click Download the device and software all tabs and send any changes you have done. Now, we have got tags and settings of these tags. After selecting tags, you, you will see that expression. That expression shows how often our PLC pulls data from the operator panel. So, it shows how often it updates the operator panel with PLC's data. By default, it is one second. If you want, you can change this. Uh, you are able to change it from 100 milliseconds to one hour. After that, uh, let's go to the root section, root screen section. We have got cross references list here. Uh, we have showed this in S7200 and S7300 trainings. Um, with cross references, um, we can view what changes are used where. When we click this and go to the info section, uh, then, clicking on cross-references, you can see the details. When we click to main section, it shows you what is going on in OB1. So, you know what cross-references are. Look, our panel is here. When we click on root screen, you can see the relative information. You can see the relative information there. Like I said, uh, you have the ability to observe different types of things with cross-references. When you click on this tab, uh, you can view the information related with this tab, for example. And uh, there will be more to talk about other than these. I will try to explain them in another video. In this lesson, we have showed you the uses of cross-references and how often tags are pulled from the PLCs into the operator panels, I mean the scan time.